guys, welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest with me, Rock Paper Mario. As I said in the last part, then we're finished with Transylvania's east side, and now we're going to the west side of Transylvania. We've got these lizardy guys, I don't know what they're like, but do you know what they look like? Aren't there these guys in Final Fantasy 12 that are like that kind of species, these kind of like, are they called the Banga or something like that? Anyway, this is what you need the laurels for. Is because what laurels do is they give no not Dracula's heart, they give you invincibility. And what basically you need invincibility to go through this toxic mire because um it'll hurt you otherwise, and that's why you want um ooh, get out of here. That's why you want the laurels because that, that toxic mire will kill you. Now this guy is the ferryman, so but we're not going to be like. Chris de Berg and not pay the ferryman. We're gonna give him a heart. Well, maybe that counts as not paying him, but I don't know. Let's just get our dagger here before we use it by accident. Let me show the way. You can. Oh no! That is the first time those stupid guys have ever hit me in my entire life. Seriously? And now it's night time? I have never been hit by those stupid guys. They always just. Go straight past me! What a horrible night to have a curse! Well, it was because I got cursed by those stupid fishmen. As you can see, I still have my 229 hearts. But if I am um, die one more time, then I'll lose my hearts. Let me show you the way. Yeah, don't hit. Let those guys hit me. Okay, let's just dodge them this time. Usually, if you just stay in the middle of the boat, they won't even hit you. Jump. On, you take two hits now. There we go. Now, what do we have to? I guess this is like I'm. I'm getting kind of like hazy now. Oh, the next mansion. Oh, we might as well go in there. I honestly don't know what the name of this place is, but this is where we're going to see our first boss of the game. Don't land on those spikes. Whatever you do, they're not as deadly as water in that they they won't just kill you in one hit, but they are quite deadly. So if we can just get past this guy. Come on, these guys have the funniest, like, slidey pattern to them. See, even our chain whip is starting to get a bit feeble here now. Can we... Here we go. Stupid skeleton. Skeleton man! If skeleton man weren't such a dummy, weren't such a dummy, weren't such a dummy, he'd know there's an early bird special every single day of the week. Come on, you stupid fathead. Okay, now where do we go? Do we go, like, up? Don't worry about running into the stake guy on this, um... No, we don't, can't go up, there's nothing up. What's up? Airplanes are up! <laughs> That's so funny. Air traffic control humor. <laughs> but yeah. Um, don't worry about running into the oak stake guy, because he's right on the way. He's on the way to and from where we're going. So you can very, like, there's no problem, you can easily, like, pick up one on the way, and pick up another one on your way out, seriously, it's easy, so. That's why I don't bother getting, um, at buying an oak stake in the second mansion, because as I said, the place, like, the place where you get, where the oak stake salesman, where the oak stake advisor or whatever is, has water there, and you want to avoid water at all costs. Okay, I'm not being that, that smart. If you need to grind, I like this place because you can just go back and forth and there are skeleton mans there that you can kill. But there's also like one of those gargoyles up here and he'll actually like, he'll give you like one big heart a lot of the time. I'm actually going to put back on Dracula's rib to save me from fireballs because I don't think I explained this, but Dracula's rib actually deflects fireballs. But it doesn't deflect things hitting you. No, 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 don't die, don't kill me, don't kill me you stupid... Stupid hopping jackass, seriously? Okay, I do not like this area. I'm going to use this sacred flame. This is one of the areas that I just... This is one of the... Not this area, but the area after it. Is one of the places that I like to just use laurels. Because it's really dangerous. Seriously. You can just like... This is one of the reasons why I like to have an extra set of laurels. Because of this guy. He's in the worst position of any enemy in the entire game. Because there's no way of getting past him. You can't jump off the stairs like in Super Castlevania 4. So you just have to walk down. And if he hits you, he'll knock you into the spikes. And like it's really hard. Like you can die really easily. So what I like to do is just get a laurel to work. 
Go down, kill him. Okay? There we go. That's it. Because it's just not worth it. There's the oak scale. Oak scale? Oak steak sales, man. Okay, I'm not going wasting my hearts. You're dying by holy water. See how many hits this takes with the holy water now? It'll take like six, will it? That's why the, um... The sacred flame is the superior to the holy water, really, because... Yeah, we do want to invest in an oak steak. Because at the oaks, the sacred flame, as you saw, will actually damage enemies, like, repeat, repetitively, repeatedly. So... We can kill this guy with the whip. So that's why, if you, like, the sacred flame is better a lot of the time. But it does use up hearts, be warned. So, we can just get past, sneak past this skeleton man. The skeletons are the easiest thing to avoid. They just go in a straight line. They don't even, like... The problem with those guys that slide around the floor is that they, like, actually track you. They have, like, a really unpredictable pattern. No, I do not like these guys. I don't like their pattern either. Okay, well, that was probably the easiest way to get past him. I've never not been hit. I can't believe that fishman jackass knocked me into the water. I've never been knocked into the water by those guys. Okay, what you want here is you want your silver dagger. Because we're going... This is where we're going to see the first boss of the game in here. Try and get past these guys. Oh, he nearly got me. And the silver dagger is the best thing to use for... Use against him. Oh, no, it's not. It's a sacred flame, isn't it? No, is it the sacred flame or is it the silver dagger? I suppose both either. This this is just like the way you beat him with the holy water in Ca in Castlevania One. He's still getting hit there, isn't he? There's something funny about this guy that like sometimes he like doesn't get hit. Sometimes he like takes like a million years to die. I don't know what it is. Is he still getting hurt? He must be because he's not moving. Finally he died! Okay, and we get the you now possess the golden knife or dagger or whatever. I'm so used to calling it dagger from like the first Castlevania game. Not only do we get the golden knife, which I'll demonstrate in a minute, um you want we also get to destroy this thing. And we you now possess Dracula's eyeball. Now we possess Dra Now I've heard. Now Dracula's heart. The only thing Dracula's heart does is it pays the ferryman, like Chris de Berg. Dracula's eyeball. I don't think that does anything. Seriously, if you guys know what Dracula's eyeball does, um, like I thought for ages that, like, well, I always thought that, like. What I thought first when I got Dracula's eyeball was that, like, oh, this will, like, this will, like, um, help me see the, like, where the invisible blocks are. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, you can, like, yeah, that's one of the funny little quirks in this game. One of the many funny little quirks is that, like, the bosses just respawn as soon as you exit the room. No, 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 no. There we go. Those guys have the most irritating pattern. They have no pattern whatsoever. So yeah, that's the third mansion. Now all we have to do is survive getting out of here, so... But yeah, I would recommend using laurels at that part because it's just so easy to die. Hopefully I won't die. I probably will die again in this LP, seriously. I, I'm can't, I can never remember whether it's the Sacred Flame or the Silver Dagger to use because you get to... It's because I have daggers on the brain. Because, um... Because you get the golden dagger from this would be a great place. This, the golden dagger is like the silver dagger, except far more powerful, and it sticks in them and damages them repeatedly, just like the sacred flame does. It is so overpowered. But I, as far as I'll show you now, coming up to here, um, if I can, can I jump there? How many hearts do I have? 192. Now I have 190. It uses two hearts. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but it adds up, trust me, so... I suppose the smart way to do this would be to jump here and see if I can use it. No, is it? Why not jump? There we go. See, I'm smart sometimes. Now let's just invest in another oak steak. INVEST IN AN OAK STEAK! Yes, of course, my good man. 
Because if you would definitely invest in an oak stake here, because if you invest in an oak stake in this place, then the next um, place is absolutely simple. You cut out like half of the dungeon by investing in an oak stake in this place, seriously. Okay, what am I going to do here? First I want to put on Dracula's rib, first of all. These guys, they're so weird. There we go. And, it's, and they gave me like a big heart, so those those um, gargoyle guys are like the best thing to grind off in this game. They're just great, but they're not that common. There's another guy up here. And their pattern can be a bit weird at times, but they do give great hearts because each of those ones is worth loads of money. Um, I don't have much to talk about today. There's not much going on. I actually had my birthday party for my 21st on Saturday, which was crazy. Loads of people came to the house, loads of family and stuff, and I have a big family, so... Um, I My explanation for why I have such a big family is that contraception wasn't legal in Ireland until the 80s, so... <laughs> That's why most people here have such big families with lots of cousins and things like that, so. I'm, I'm not, I'm afraid that his baldy skull will hit me. His big astrodome of a forehead. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that was really fun. I had a great time and everyone had such fun and, like, um, yeah, I'm just gonna dodge you, Mr. Sp Mr. Potty. Silly Potty. That's some crap game. That's one of the games I've challenged Awesome Sauce to do because it's a crap game. <laughs> he did this game as one of the challenges and it was like trolls. Do you know like the troll dolls with the hair? And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was literally just giggling the whole time watching that video because it was hilarious. It was just so funny. Okay. No, no, no. There we go. Okay. There we go. Those spikes, they do so much damage. But uh, it doesn't matter now because we're out of the mansion. Um, I'd say that's enough for this part of Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. In the next part, we're going to continue on to our journey through the west side of Transylvania. So um, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest with me, Rock Paper Mario.